Okay, I submit. Everyone keeps asking me to check out Diff Hunt. What do I think about Diff Hunt? Have I checked out Diff Hunt? What are my thoughts? Blah, 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 blah. I finally sat down for half an hour, gone through it. I'm going to give you my initial thoughts right at the beginning of this video. And then at the end, you can see me click around and play around with the tool. I will be doing a deeper dive over time, but I just want to get out my initial thoughts. All I ask is that you stick around to the end because there's one major thing about this tool that will basically make or break it for you. Just based on the website alone, it seems like the first real competitor to uh, Webflow, giving you a lot of fine-grained control over the elements, the style, the properties, and things like this with all this all-encompassing solution of CMS and, and hosting and all of that sort of lot. I've been looking at Web Studio a lot recently. That gives you the designer, it doesn't give you any anything else. And that is great for certain scenarios. So it's not necessarily a good thing that it provides you all in one. It's just that's the package that they offer. They're trying to do this, this all in one thing. What seems really exciting is collaboration aspects. I don't know whether it's the builder or the editor or something like that. So the collaborate, it seems like an interesting thing, but I've yet to try it. And as I say, I'll look into it a deeper later date, but it just struck me as something interesting. Unlimited collection seemed really, really exciting, but as you'll find out, like I could not find the CMS. So after a bit of digging, it's in their plugin ecosystem or the application ecosystem. You can enable collections there. But I, I have to say, I really like the REST API uh, integrations. You can basically create um, calls to third parties and store that data. There's caching and very, very similar to Web Studio and uh, Toddle. You basically set up a, you get the REST API in, in this kind of like a, a source thing here. And I've, I've just been playing around with the ditto. It's nice to have this. And I think this is a very compelling feature that Webflow need to bring into their application. Some other interesting aspects are the repeaters and loops as well, which is directly taken from WordPress. Something worth noting is though, that they don't have built-in interactions. However, they do have a GSAT plugin, which overall, I think if you can learn it, is a more powerful way to have interactions and animations on your website. Now, the big thing, the big thing about this tool which I think everyone needs to understand and know, is they are pushing for single page applications. They even say it's like the next big thing on the web. And single page applications have time and time again been proven to be very inefficient, incompatible, um, in un unacceptable really for building websites. So I'm not really sure where they've got this idea from. The problem is that they rely on JavaScript to actually run the experience. And as you'll come to see, we run the we run our website without JavaScript and it looks like trash. It, do, it doesn't load properly. And this is what search engines and spiders see when they come to the website, because oftentimes they don't load JavaScript, they don't load CSS, they want to get an understanding of the website and it's what, what was delivered to it from the server. Even their website has these lazy loading sections, which I can't guarantee that a search engine is even gonna pick that content up. And if a single page application, if it's doing that cycle of, okay, download the code and then run JavaScript to populate all the elements and stuff like that, it's not very good. Now they do offer a, a pre-rendered version, but that's a business plan. And that, I think that starts at something like $24. So I feel like they're misleading you or giving you a, a false sense of security that these cheaper plans that run on single page applications are appropriate for a marketing website. Really single page applications are more appropriate for apps, um, like web apps and things like this, where there's no reliance on any SEO. And, and on that note, I feel like they've taken that idea into the app experience itself. So I would I would click enter and, and things like this on, on text fields, thinking it would insert the text, but they bound click events to buttons. That's why I can't submit that because it's not inside of a form. It just feels like they're really taking the single page application methodology of everything being JavaScript a little bit too literally and not relying on the fundamentals of, of HTML. So in summary, Div Hunt offer a really interesting package with a lot of features that we want from 
Webflow. I think they bring the best of WordPress with loops and repeaters, as well as access to third-party APIs and CMS that Webflow don't even offer. The designer itself is a little lacking in terms of elements and components that you can use. However, I think that will obviously grow with time. But I think all of this is completely undermined by the fact that this is a JavaScript driven website and is not suitable for marketing websites. That being said, I think this is a brilliant balance um, between Bubble and Webflow, which is something people have been after. They want the, the nice UX design um, sensibilities of Webflow with the back-end capabilities and logic of something like Bubble. This kind of meets in the middle. It's not going to go as far as Bubble. It's not going to go as far as Webflow, but it's a, it's a nice balance. So for, for web apps, for things like this, I think it's a really, really great solution, but it's not quite there for marketing websites. So anyway, that's my kind of initial review. Um, bearing in mind, uh, I've only looked at it for half an hour and you'll see that footage now, which I think you'll learn, if, you, if you're interested, you'll learn a little bit more about. I look forward to digging in a little bit more and understanding a little bit more, um, following some of their tutorials and stuff like that and trying to whatever. And, and maybe in time, I will retract some of what I've just said now. I'm, you know, I'm only, I'm only human, so don't shoot me. Um, and I look forward to sharing with you what I've learned. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.